Hey everybody, here's Elsa. We are trying her first hand feeding. It never goes very well with the wilds with their first hand feeding, especially when they're adults. She uh, would rather eat the syringe than the, the uh, food inside the syringe at this point. But she's taking a little bit down. We really need to get this baby vetted by tomorrow because if we don't, she's gonna dehydrate, which is like one of the worst things we wanna happen to her. Um, she does, see, She does, as you can see, have movement in her neck and her beak. She cannot make a noise. She tries to, nothing comes out. Her back legs are straight behind her. Um, I don't know if they will come back or not, but they are both straight behind her. She doesn't really seem to have any movement back there. Um, she's trying, it's just, you know, her body's not cooperating with her right now. She's a fighter. We need to save this one. She is definitely a fighter. She's not given up and she could have because she wasn't found for a few days behind the, um, behind the air conditioner. So she could have given up and she didn't. She's a fighter, she wants to live. So please help her live. Um, as you know, the um, fundraiser is on the page for her. Please, please share, please give. I'd like to get her in by tomorrow. It's Dr. Club. Um, so Dr. Club is a little bit cheaper. It could be anywhere from 600 to $1,000. Well, I'm not sure what's gonna happen yet. We definitely need x-rays though. Um, from there, I will make the decision. I don't think if her back is broken, judging by the way she's moving her neck, it's broken up that, it's broken that far up. She could be like Hope, and if she's like Hope, she'll be happy, live a happy life. But um, if it's broken farther up, it may be a different story. We need to find out. Okay, so please share and please, please give. She's definitely a fighter. Look at her. She's not just laying there. She'd like to bite me if she could. So.